What's up guys? In this video, I'm doing a review on the Toolkit RC Q4AC Quad Smart Charger. This charger can charge four separate LiPos all at once. So let's do a quick unboxing. Inside, you got the charger. They give you a screen protector. It's like a little manual and the cables. So you can power this uh, charger using two methods. You can either plug it into a wall or you can plug it into something like this 4S battery. All right, so looking at the charger on the back, we have the XT60 input, and this is rated for 10 to 18 volts. Above that, we have a USB port, and this is used for firmware updates. They give you a little cable so you can install those. We have a fan right here to help with ventilation. And then on this side, we have the AC input, which is what you would hook up to your wall. Nothing on the sides. We have the four ports where you can charge your battery. So we have four XT60s and then four balance plugs right next to it. So the cool thing about this charger is that you can charge four completely different batteries all at once. So I have this um, 4,000 milliamp 4S battery that I'm gonna use to power this. Make sure that it's a 4S. I wouldn't use anything above a 4S since this is rated for 10 to 18 volts. On the top of the screen, you can see the overall battery voltage. We have a couple of little blank stats right now, and then we have the internal temperature of the charger. This screen kind of shows you what's going on with each uh, battery port. So if you had a battery, actually let's plug in a battery right now. So I'm gonna plug in this 4S850 on channel one. And right when I plug it in, you can see all the different stats. So we have 15.57, that's the overall voltage of the battery. And then we have each cell's individual voltage. So this is where you can see if one of these was significantly higher than the other ones, like 3.9 and 3.89, I'm not gonna worry about. But if one of these was like 3.9 and then another one was like 3.5, I'd probably just get rid of the battery, um, but this is where you can see the stats for each battery that's plugged into which bank. So I'm gonna plug in another battery. I'm gonna plug in this one. This is a also a 4S, this is a 1300 milliamp. And I'm gonna plug this into channel four. Same thing, you can see the overall voltage and then each individual cell's voltage here. So to start charging one, I'm gonna charge uh, channel one first. To select it on the scroll wheel, you just click, and this is where you can change all the settings for that battery. So you can select the type of battery. This is a LiPo, so I'm gonna keep it on LiPo, but you can also charge um, LiHV, LiFE, lithium ion, LTO, nickel. You have quite a few uh, different options. Oh boy, my scroll wheel doesn't work. LiPo, 4S, you can choose 1S, 2S, 3S, or 4S. Keep it on four. I'm gonna charge this, so I'm gonna keep it on charge, but you can discharge or storage charge. Don't worry that there's no balance charge option. Since there's a balance plug plugged in, it's gonna naturally just balance charge it. End voltage, obviously you would know if you had one that was capable of 4.25, it would say so on the battery. These ones are 4.2, so I'm gonna keep it at 4.2 and charge current 0.8 that's what i would use to charge this battery so that looks good and if i had a, another uh, battery just like this i could actually select two if i had it plugged into uh, channel two and it would charge that battery at the exact same rate as this one so i wouldn't have to go through and change all these settings if i was charging another battery just like this i could just select two and it's charging that one since i'm not i'm not gonna select that and you can tell when it's selected, it's kind of highlighted orange. The other ones are all black. So then I'll hit start, it'll confirm, and okay. So now if I want to start charging the battery on channel four, go up here, and you scroll that way, select it and just do the same thing. Battery type is a LiPo, 4S, charge 4.2. And instead of the charge current being 0 0.8, this one's a 1,300 milliamp battery. So I'm gonna change this to 
and then we'll go down. And again, if you had another one of these batteries <clears throat> plugged in here to channel three or two, you would just scroll and select three and then hit start. Confirm. Okay. So now those two batteries are charging. To stop charging, all you gotta do is click this and you can either stop one channel or stop all channels. To get into the setup menu, all you gotta do is click and hold, and then I'll bring you to the setup menu. So this is where you can change your input settings, your backlight, brightness, your buzzer, uh, language, theme, style. Actually, I'm gonna change that to dark. And you can default the settings and ID number. So yeah, I think that's pretty much gonna do it for this charger. I think this is another quality toolkit charger. I I don't see this scroll wheel as a reflection of Toolkit RC. I think they make awesome products. Their M9 charger right here. I have a whole other video on this and I'll leave it in the description, but this is my go-to portable charger. And the main reason it's been my go-to is because I can also charge my phone or um, other USB devices through here. It supports up to 6S LiPo output and it has an input voltage of 7 to 35 volts. So I can use a 6S battery to power this. Plus it has a rotating screen. It's This charger has a lot of cool features. Um, this charger I think is awesome for the fact that it has four individual chargers. So if you find yourself using, you know, a bunch of different types of 4S batteries like this, and you need to charge them quick, I think this is an awesome option. I think for me though, I'm probably not gonna use the XT60 power. I'll probably just keep this over on my desk with the power cord uh, plugged in, and I'll just use this as a standard charger for all my 4S batteries. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and if I missed anything, or if you have anything to say, leave it down in the comments section. I try to reply to as many comments as I can.